What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy Snatch on TV. Welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm going to give you guys my WWE Money in the Bank 2024 preview and prediction video. So, if you guys are interested, make sure, guys, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more wrestling content, which is like this, and follow my social media down below in the description. And let's get started. It says one of the biggest tone setting events of the year in WWE. It's fast approaching. Money in the Bay takes place on July 6th, and the car is is already quickly coming together for the Scotta Bank Arena in Toronto. Two ladder matches will take place on the car, with one man and and one woman emerging as the Money in the Bank contract holder. That contract guarantees the winner a shot at any championship at at a time of their choosing often directly after the champion has just been worn down in a title defense, which is, which is everybody knows that. Everybody knows the world's too money in the bank. Just have to put that out there. But anyway, let me continue. The World Heavyweight Champion is all set to be, de to be defended with Damian Priest putting his belt on the line against the former champion, Seth Rollins, who just re re recently returned from injury. Look below at the co confirmed matches for Money in the Bank as well as predictions of what match matches may still be made. The event streams live on Peacock on July 6th with the, with the main card starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. All right. 2024 Money in the Bank matches. World Heavyweight Champion Damian Priest versus Seth Rollins. Now, this match is going to be good. But I got a bad feeling that I don't know where that the judgment day might cost Damian Priest the matchup. But I could go for Damian Priest to retain. But I'm but I'm just um looking forward by picking Seth Rollins. But I could be wrong. But in my prediction, I'm gonna have to go with um this is gonna be a tough one. I might as well go with um Seth Rollins. To become your new WWE World WWE World Heavyweight Champion, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but but that's not the case. But I got a but I got a feeling that Damian Priest might retain because the judge that is going to be at ringside. So um yeah. So in my prediction, I got is either Damian Priest wins or Seth Rollins wins. So I might as well just go with um I might as well just go with Damian Priest retaining the World Heavyweight Championship. At money in the bank. That's all I gotta say. But I like to, but I just have to pick Damian Priest to retain. All right. Seth Rollins made his return from injury on a recent Raw and immediately made clear his plans to win back the title he lost at WrestleMania. And as Seth Rollins seems to suggest, he will enter the Money in the Bank ladder match to reach his goal. Damian Priest came to the ring to tell Seth Rollins. He intend to cash cash in his money in the bank contract on him rather than Drew McIntyre and lay out a challenge to Seth Rollins, giving him a direct path to the title to try to establish who is truly Raw's top dog. All right, let's move on. Men's money in the bank ladder match: Jay Uso, Carmella Hayes, and a versus or yeah, Car Jay Uso versus Carmella Hayes versus Andrade versus Chad Gable versus TBD. Mm. I'm just gonna say this right now: WWE wants Jay Uso to win the men's money in the bank, but I could be wrong. But I'm just gonna go with my gut and by by picking Miss the main event: Jay Uso yeet. To win the men's money in the bank. So I got Jay Uso winning the men's money in the bank. Alright. First man to qualify for the match. Winning the triple threat match against Rey Mysterio and Finn Balor on Raw. The qualifiers have continued rolling and since Drew McIntyre attempted to declare himself for the match. But he but was shut down by Adam Pierce. The win okay. So yeah, so I got Jay Uso winning the men's money in the bank ladder match. All right, let's move on. Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Il Sky, Chelsea Green versus... Yeah, Il Sky versus Chelsea Green versus Lara Rakura and 3TBD. In my own opinion, I was really aiming towards Chelsea Green. So, 
that's my pick. So I got Chelsea Green winning the women's money in the bank. So I picked Chelsea Green. Like Uso, like Jay Uso, Il Sky was was the first to punch her ticket on Raw, defeating Selena Vega and Keanu James qualifying qualification match have continued with three spots still left to fill in. All right, let's move on. Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton versus the Bloodline. In my opinion, I got. Uh, oh, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. But if I was to choose, I had to go with the Bloodline. But my my but my but but my mind is telling me is that Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton will win. But but like I said earlier, this is very predictable. This this six man tag team match is very is very predictable, but you already know the baby face is gonna go over over the hills. So I got Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton beating the Bloodline, but I could be wrong. All right, so Sakura has taken over the Bloodline in Roman Reigns' absence, leaving Paul Heyman distra distra. Okay, Paul Heyman has gone so far as to beg CM Punk to come to his aid. The new version of the Bloodline. Is far less than in control. With Solo Sequoia having brought in the likes of Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa, and Jacob Fatu, a much more violent group. The group has has had long-standing issues with Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton. And the six-man tag is now set to possibly steal the show on a card full of potentially show-stealing matches. All right, so I got Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, and and um yeah, Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, and I got Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton going over the bloodline. But I could be wrong about this match. But this match is very predictable. All right, let's move on. So we get the Intercontinental Championship match, um, Sami Zayn versus Braun Breaker. In my own opinion, this is my personal opinion, so I have the right to title my own opinion. If you guys respect my opinion, I'm going to respect. If you guys respect my opinion, I'm gonna turn my respect to your opinion. But my my opinion is this: I love Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is a good champ, good Intercontinental Champion. But I'm afraid that Braun Breaker is going to beat Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. So I'm going to go with my gut by having Sami Zayn dropping the Intercontinental Championship to Braun Breaker. So I got Braun Breaker beating Sami Zayn at 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 the Money in the Bank to become your new Intercontinental Champion. So my pick is Braun Breaker. All right, this could easily have been Sami Zayn versus Braun Breaker versus Sheamus versus Louis Kaiser after Braun Breaker versus Sheamus ended with Sheamus getting the disqualification win after being stacked by Louis Kaiser and then Sheamus attacked Louis Kaiser for the DQ. Doing Louis Kaiser's match with Braun Breaker instead, Sami Zayn offers Braun Breaker a chance to challenge him anytime, anywhere. Braun Breaker dis decided on money on money in the bank that and that's what will be going down unless things change in a week. Alright. So we get the 2024 WWE Money in the Bank predictions. United States champion Logan Paul versus LA Knight. And um my prediction is this I got LA Knight winning mid the man's money in the bank to become your new United States champion. In my own opinion, and I said this on my WWE SmackDown review on highlights, Logan Paul is one of the worst, the worst WWE United States champion in WWE. Let me say that one more time for all my viewers that are watching. Logan Paul is one of the worst United States champion in WWE, and that's facts. All right, LA Knight is on the hunt for Logan Paul's U.S. championship. The show, social media influencer has avoided influencer has avoided or reject LA Knight's to date. But LA Knight finally got his attention after breaking into Logan Paul's house and launching in his pool. WWE has slowly built to this since since Pure to, cla to clash at the castle and will likely follow through at Money in the Bank. All right, so I got LA Knight beating Logan Paul to become the, the new United States Championship at Money in the Bank. All right. And um and I hope there's more. And I guess that's it. But I hope but I I really hope that's more. Um 
Let me see. Let me see. There's more do I got to talk about. Let me see the, which more do I got to talk about. Okay. Let me let, let me see something. Let me see what I got to talk about. Um. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. And and that's pretty much. Hold on. Is there more on this match card? Please tell me there's more on this match card. And basically. I think yeah, I think yeah. Basically, that's about it. That's I think that's about it. That's about it. Okay. Um. Let me. I'm, I just want to check to see. Do we got um? Is there more um to the card for the for the um man's money in the bank? If not, that's about it. But let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I went over this. Yeah, I went over this, went over that. Mm-hmm. I just want to check. I just want to check. And no, and, and basically, and basically, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. If you, let me get, okay. Um, yeah, that's about it. I just had to, over, I just had to double check. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my WWE Money in the Bank 2024 preview and prediction video, Please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Comment down below on what are your, uh, what are your preview and predictions about about for what are your WWE 2024 WWE Money in the Bank 2024 preview and prediction for this year's Money in the Bank. Sign it off down below in the comment section because I just explained to you guys in the video. But anyway, I want you guys to have a great day. Stay safe and always stay positive. Kept your crew, kept your kids, kept your club. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please full watch the video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more watch content like this, and um hashtag keep watching. So I'm gonna put that in I'm gonna put that when I'm when I edit my video. Uh when I make my when I edit my video. Hashtag keep watching. That's all I gotta say. But anyway, thank you guys so much for coming to my eight hour live stream for Fortnite. I had lots of fun. Anti-social gaming shouts to you, Breachy shouts to you, Sarah D shouts to you, the Daniel channel, Sareeb shouts to you, everybody that came to my live stream that played with me, um, Jaden shouts to you, man. Shout out to you, man. I had lots of fun, and I know this was your first time playing Fortnite with me. So, Jaden, if you're watching this video, shouts to you, man. That's all I gotta say from here. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, and hashtag keep watching, cause I need to watch out so I can get because. I'm on the road to get to 6K subs, and I'm and I'm on the road to 3K watch hours. The way I could become YouTube partner and get monetized at the same time, but I know that's gonna take some take some work. But I'm going to continue to put in some work. That's why I had to take the time out of my day and just get that off my chest. That way I won't have to stress out anymore. So I'm just gonna continue to grind it. You know what I'm saying? Keep grinding on YouTube because I stay consistent on every single day. And I'm and I will make a YouTube short video that's coming up next. So it's gonna be attention to all my attention, um, YT attention, attention to all my YT short attention video to all to my subscribers. So that I'm gonna be dropping a YouTube short video next. So I want you guys to have a great day. Stay safe and always stay positive. Keep your crew, keep your kids, keep your club. Too sweet. I'm out of here, gang. Mwah. Bang, too sweet, gang, and happy Sunday to everybody. Make sure you like the video, share the video with your friends and family. Leave a comment what you guys thought about my WWE Money in the Bank 2024 preview and prediction video. And that's all I gotta say. And I will premiere this tonight at four o'clock Eastern time, right here on right here on, on my YouTube channel. All right, and I will talk to you guys later. And I'm out of here, too sweet, gang.